The next thing we like to do to prepare this part to bring it in the solid cam is to plan out our origin, where our x, y, and z zero were going to be. Doing this ahead of time, like creating the stock material, is, is powerful by using the SolidWorks tools. And also you have more tools to manipulate and to move things around ahead of time before you're even inside solid cam. So since, the, since we don't have the part and all we have is the stock material, we need to build some kind of origin off of our stock material. There's a bunch of different ways that people do this. There is the way where you could put the part inside the vise and we'll orient this to look at it. Some people will pick up the edge of the stock material. So where these two points meet, this could be your X zero and this could be your Y zero. Some people want would like to pick up the corner of the part as your zero. So they would find the edge of the block of their stock material with an edge finder or a probe and then move in the distance of the, the difference between the stock material and the part and use this as your x0 and in the same case in the y this is your y0 another way to do it is to pick up your origin off of the center of the stock material using your edge finder or your probe to pick up one edge move in half the distance of your stock material or pick up one edge plus the second edge and subtract the difference to find the center of your stock material. The same thing can occur when picking up your Z zero, where to put it. Some people will put their Z zero on top of their stock material. Some people will put their Z zero on top of the part. Some people may put their zero at the very bottom of the part where they they program everything in the plus direction where they have their fixture or vice set up and their zero is set on the top of their fixture or vice allowing them to not have to pick up their z zero all the time so let's start off by picking up the outside corner of our stock material, our upper left. And we'll start by picking up the Z on the top of the stock material. So I'm gonna start a sketch on the top of the stock material. And I'm going to create a sketch I'm going to convert these two entities and then accept the sketch. Now this is this is showing our y direction, our y0, our x0 and it's at the top of the stock for our z0. What we can do now is go into features, reference geometry. Oops, I have to be out of the sketch before you can use the reference geometry. And I'm going to put in a coordinate system. The first thing it's asking for is the corner. So I put in the corner. Now we didn't need to make the sketch to pick up the X and the Y. We could pick up the model edges. But for this example, and sometimes it's just easier to make this, make your X and your Y sketch. So you can pick up, you may not have model edges. So it's asking for our x direction, and now it's asking for our y direction. Now in this case, the, the arrows are not pointed in the, in the proper way. So we can use our reverse tools to line this up correctly, where the x is pointing in our plus direction, our y is pointing in our y plus, and our z is pointing in our z plus. So now what we have is a sketch that we use just as a, a reference, and we have our coordinate system. 
let's take these and put them inside a folder. And we'll call this stock corner zero. And we'll put top stock here. Okay. Now let's take and we're going to hide these components. Okay, so they're hidden. And we're not going to see them. Now, let's suppose we wanted to pick up the Z0 based off the top of the part and also pick up the same left and the right. In this case, we're going to come up to our solid body and we're just going to hide our stock material for a little bit so we can click on the face and start a sketch. And we'll go normal too. And then we'll turn back on our stock material. Now when we convert these lines this time and accept them, we'll accept close the sketch, you'll see that the sketch is now inside of our stock material. Now this we would need to make a sketch for so that we can work off of this because we can't select the model edges because that would be wrong to select them. So let's go to our reference geometry coordinate system. Now we're going to pick this point inside our stock material. We'll pick our x direction, our y direction, and we'll get our orientation correct. And now we have our zero on the corner of the block and our Z0 down inside the stock material on the top of the part. So let's add this to a folder and we'll call it stock corner top part zero. And let's go and hide these so we don't have to look at them while we're working with the other stuff. Now, let's say we want to work off of the center of the block and we'll work our Z0 will be the top. So we can start a sketch on the top face of the stock material. Bring it normal to. And since we already have our stock drawn on center of the part, we can find the center by doing a couple things. We can connect the corners to find our center. We can work off of some midpoints with our center, all while using center line. It, it, you could use line, but center line just makes it look a little nicer so that for reference, it's, it's, a, it's a center line. It's a, something you're using as a tool. And let's connect there. Okay. Let's go put our reference geometry in this time, coordinate system again. And this time we'll pick the center, but we can't. It's not an endpoint. So, so if you want to create a point that you can pick off of the center of a line, we can pick these two lines go into reference geometry and pick point. And what it's going to do is put a point there in the intersection of those two center lines. Now we can use our reference geom. Now we can use our coordinate system and pick this point as the origin. And we'll pick this line as our x and we'll pick this line as our y axis. And then we'll play with the swapping the axes, flipping them around to get our origin. So now what we have is our origin is in the center of the block and it's on the top of the stock. Now one of the disadvantages working off the top of the stock is that when you're facing the top of the part off, it'll be at a negative value. 
In this case, it'll be negative 25 thousandths. Now, I think we, we know how we would make this z0 by starting our sketch off of the part instead of the top stock and doing the same thing with our center lines. Uh, one, way, one way to do this, if you want to change it in the middle after you've already done this, is to let's hide our stock material. Let's go to our sketch and we'll edit our sketch plane. And now we're going to make our sketch plane the top of the part. When we accept, it's going to drop and bring our sketches now down to the top of the part and our associated point and our associated coordinate system are also going to come down to this new sketch plane that we've created. We'll turn back on our stock material. We'll look inside here and now we have our origin. Now we can hide our sketch. Let's put this inside a folder to keep up organization. And we'll call this stock center top of the part. So there are some different ways to set up origins before you go into solid cam. As I said, this is a good way to prepare before going into solid cam. We have some different tools inside SolidCam that you could use to shift around the origins and the components but I actually prefer to draw the coordinate systems ahead of time and to do some planning uh, sometimes you may have to do some tricky stuff like center of a hole or an angle or an edge of something and using the SolidWorks tools is beneficial in that case